Hey guys, Mike Donaldson here at Global Garden France at the IGC show in Chicago. I found a really cool new product I want to show you uh, from Nature's Footprint. And I'm going to have the owner, President Ralph, show you um, exactly how it goes down. And I'm sure you all will be excited. And uh, here we go. Well, we were with the bird writer. Would you like to take a tour of the worm composter? Love it. Okay, well this is a composter made for uh, uh, residential people, small scale composting. And uh, what we have here is what we have, we're feeding the worms today. And you can sort of see where we have vegetables, cardboard, paper, leaves, uh, coffee grounds, all kinds of things. And if you look carefully, maybe you can see that grid that's right there, okay? Well, the reason is each tray has a grid and the, you feed the worms on the very top and the worms move up and they're self-sorting, okay? So let's take a look. It takes three months from the top to the bottom, the three stages, okay? Okay. So let's look at the first one. Now this is halfway through the stage, and we'll take a look here. Now you can see the worms moving around in there, and you'll see paper and different things that hasn't been finished. Look at the difference in color. It changes in color, and what happens, the worms actually take the microorganisms that are doing the composting, and it passes through their body, and that converts it into this black material, so it's called egg or worm castings. And you'll see even little ones here. That's what you want to see because you've got a lot of little babies and they're good, healthy groups, so they're growing and more. They never will overpopulate, but they reproduce every three months, so you get a larger uh, group of, of, of worms every time. Here's what it looks like when it's finished. It's called black hole. Every spoonful has a million living organisms. Now, the difference between this material and something like miracle Grow is that miracle Grow has a, a salt base, and, and that kills off organisms that are normally in the soil, but then it's like a steroid that they need more and more of it, so that you have to keep feeding your plant more and more. So what this does, when you put it in the soil, it puts the nutrients back in, the, the organism back into the soil, and so you can regenerate your soil. Now, it has a, a, a collection tray down here. All compost has to have moisture. It has to be moist. And so excess moisture is pulled down through those grids and it comes into a collection tray and you can open it up and drip it out into a container of, of some sort and you can use it on some ornamental flowers and vegetables. Now this right here is a picture of ours at home. And you can see that this, you can see this one has three trays, but you can have more than three trays at once. Wow. This is the oldest, next oldest, no oldest. This is the newest. It's where we feed them. Compost has to be made in sequential order. You cannot just pile compost up and get it to work. So this is the oldest. Now it's ready for the garden. Three months later, we put it on the very top and take the lid off. Now worms hate light. That's why they stay in the box, okay? But now you stir it up and the worms scurry down into the bottom of the box. You harvest the compost and then you put the empty tray on top and you start all over again. And so you go around and around and around. You can go on vacation for a month and they have no problem. This composter comes with all kinds of information, a bedding material that you need, uh, um, and it has a 16-page manual illustrated for men who already know it all and hate to read. Do you know anybody like that? Oh, everyone. Even in here, it shows you how to raise fishing worms if you want to go fishing. These are particularly good for fishing because they will not die immediately. They'll live for at least a, a day in the water where those great big long ones, I forgot what you call them. Night crawlers. Night crawlers will die immediately when they hit the water. But what you do is you have to feed them a little bit of a, a, a mix of uh, things like um, um, chicken feed to get them all big, getting big and fat. So that's a story. You can, bring it in, you can bring it in. It uses aerobic bacteria. There are basically two kinds of bacteria. Aerobic means airborne and anaerobic means water and it grows without any air and it smells. So this whole system is based on aerobic bacteria where it's moist, the moisture. And um, so you can bring it inside the house and it just has an earthy smell and, and it doesn't put any bad odor. Now I have to tell you this story. I brought one home for my wife and she was a skeptic. You know what that is? Yeah. I brought it home and I said we're going to keep them in the winter time in the house. She had a conniption. You ever heard of that? <laughs> Today, however, she has several of them in the house and she makes compost all winter long when outside you can't do it. And the best part is she can put her kitchen scraps in every single day, whereas outside composters require you to go through a certain cycles and you can't do that. So there are periods when you don't, you don't have any place to put your excess um, materials. 
So, the only problem we have is when we travel, we're so used to putting all of our good recyclable materials in, and I bait, saved this huge bag that was going to take it home on the airplane, and the crazy maid threw it out. Oh. <laughs> so it's really cool once you get doing this, and you know what happens? If I were to drop a, a worm on the floor, pick that worm up. <laughs> so, it's, there was a lady yesterday who said, um, Oh, I just shiver with worms, but she's learning, you know, you learn to look at it. It's not so bad once you get the idea. Sure. So that's a story in a nutshell. One more thing I'd like to add is um, all of uh, Nature's Footprints products are American-made, and we love that.